morning everybody we're gonna pull some messages for this week the week of November 7th through whenever the next week starts let's see what we got as a theme for the week we pull from the sacred oracle sacred traveler oracle all right <laughs> in my mind I was like one card today please it gives me three anyway mystic healer infinite abundance and surrendering to the journey this feels a lot like opening up to your gifts as a healer also healing healing power is just here available for us this week in infinite abundance that's super nice and of course such an eclipse message surrendering to the journey release control allow what's coming through to come through all right and i already decided we're going to do the celtic cross today um we have the page of wands and the moon came out to cross it yeah, the Page of Wands often signifies the start of a spiritual journey of some sort, and then the moon crossing it tells me that there's um, the need to work through some fears. Uh, that kind of reminds me of the last new moon, the new moon in Scorpio, but with this eclipse axis, we're all dealing with um, the risk of fear, trying to find stability. Stability is in the surrender, in my opinion, in this case. Just allowing for what is in the state that it's in to just be there for you. Let it support you. All right, let's get our Celtic cross. This will be a message for, maybe I'll connect with somebody specific. This is for you, great. If not, don't worry about it. It's just a general reading for the week. Whoever is gonna find it, is gonna find it. All right, so this is for somebody who's making plans. Very good, could be any one of us. What is the opportunity? Seeing your worth. Okay, it's like it's saying our perception of the world, your, your perception of the world is limited by what you perceive and what you value, how you value yourself. Are you valuing yourself highly? Those high value situations, opportunities will come your way. Are you not valuing yourself so highly? All you will see is how you are limited. What do you want? What do you want? I guess we want a lot of stuff. <laughs> um, I see uh, justice in reverse, 10 of cups. 10 of cups has been here um, for the last few days. It's about happiness, right? It came out last week, this like pursuit of happiness. And then the seven of cups, wondering where it is, where is my ultimate happiness? And so what you want is to bring balance back into your life by bringing back joy. Um, Seven of Cups, decisions, decisions, right? Choosing happiness, I feel like, is a, um, is what it's saying here. Choose happiness when things feel unbalanced. Okay, something doesn't seem fair. And it may be stifling happiness, but remember that happiness is always a choice. All right, let's look at the past foundation. What has led us to this moment? Show me something about the past. Come on. Walking away from conflict. Okay, that's very good. You decided to walk away from conflict and now you're on this path towards happiness. The present situation, yeah, feeling like you're stuck. We have the Knight of Pentacles in reverse and the Devil. Feeling a little bit stuck to the rhythms um, that bind us. What are the forces in your life that are uh, that have got a grip on you? What can you do to get those things moving energetically? The outcome, 10 of wands in reverse. Let it go. It's the surrender, like I said. The, the choice of happiness is a surrender to the present reality. This also could be, um, the outcome is to reprioritize, like take a look at what you're prioritizing. Maybe it's just to set some things down focus on your happiness and we had this card come out yep okay definitely i'm connecting with somebody who does not feel like they have a choice of happiness uh, it's the five of pentacles definitely connecting with somebody who feels like they want to come in from the cold they want to feel love um something just isn't going quite right right now in the immediate environment the two of swords in reverse 
again, not feeling like you have a choice. What in, what in your environment is preventing you from seeing the choice? Hopes and fears, judgment, hope for growing awareness, <laughs> fear for what you may find in your awareness. That's interesting. It's, uh, it sounds like somebody just needs to be very real with themselves. And then, oh, here we go, final card outcome, the tower. Something is going to change, and you're going to change it by changing where your uh, priorities are. Um, I feel like with the ten with the ten of wands here, especially showing up with the tower, this is Mar the tower is Mars energy. Mars is in retrograde. So I feel like the question here is like, what are you putting down in order to pursue something beyond your limited and or existing uh, perception of, of your world? Going back to the beginning, this this two of wands here, you're showing up as the two of wands and the five of pentacles. The great tarot saga continues. It's like, you know, week to week, things feel <clears throat> like they're on that pulse. Because last week we had the pursuit of happiness. The grass is greener. Why is it greener somewhere else? What is it that you're, you're, you desire happiness, but you feel like you don't have it where you are? Is it because there's too much conflict? So you've had to walk away from conflict. You've had to assess and realize the things that are holding you back. And you're no longer going to be staying in situations that feel unbalanced. I think you're going to be joining forces with people who do see your value, who can reflect that to you. And joining with people who share a similar vision for the future where all, all beings can be happy. Let's get some final advice, please. Just final, final advice. I see, by the way, Capricorn and I see Libra. Those are the two major Capricorn and Libra. Okay, final advice, like that. <laughs> be an uh, ace of swords and the um, nine of swords <clears throat> I feel like this you're learning the truth slowly you're learning the truth it may not be apparent to you but you're learning the truth about your worries and where they come from uh, when there's conflict um, when you perceive conflict I feel like that's information for you so I don't know if by avoiding this conflict you stopped yourself from learning some greater truth about whatever situation that was or that that is the situation whatever this past situation is however you're connecting to it this conflict is what will tell you the information you need to know about your concerns final advice here is there anything else we need to know yeah. It's almost like you had a choice to get defensive about this conflict. But it's like it wasn't going to lead to anywhere good. So I think you, you chose to walk away so that you could preserve yourself, preserve your, um, preserve your energy. And because the intellectualization of this, like there's a lot of swords down here in the past. We've been overthinking things. We've been thinking a lot about things or ruminating about things and now I see you more leaning into things that feel good just like using your feelings and your gut to guide you where you're going next is there anything else we need to know or did we get all the messages did we get everything yeah we got the hanged man and the emperor I mean these are two cards that have been showing up on repeat it's almost like the, the way forward, the way to take action is to actually surrender. Choosing surrender, choosing to say, if I do nothing, if I just sit back and sort of look at what's around me and I take in um, the lessons that are here to be integrated, there's a lot of wisdom to be, to be had in that. 
Aries energy. Aries and Sag. I don't know, Hangman always reminds me of this fall time. I feel like it's been coming up last month, this month, and there's like, there's a grace in the surrender in how we must now take action in our lives. Hello, eclipse season. I hope that it's going well for you. If this resonates, shoot me a comment below. Let me know. Thanks for joining. I'll see you on the next video.